first Lexus electric vehicle comes with 1 million kilometer warranty for its air-cooled battery. The Lexus UX300e, the luxury brand's first electric vehicle, is on sale in China now and hits Europe later this year. Lexus in Europe announced today that the crossover's air-cooled 54.3 kWh battery will come with a 10-year 1 million km, which is 621,000 miles, warranty. The Lexus UX300e joins the Nissan Leaf as one of the few electric vehicles with air-cooled batteries which are considered not as robust. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan. As I'm going from torquenews.com, as I'm going to tell you the rest of this story and some of the specs of Lexus Electric UX 300e, please subscribe to our channel if you are here for the first time. Join our community, like this video, and if you would like to support our channel, I would really appreciate you perhaps buying us an animated applause, maybe once a month by clicking on the applaud button, which is next to the like button if you are watching this video on a desktop. So in today's official release, Release, Lexus championed its air-cooled system as better than liquid cooling. For the, uh, I quote, for the UX300e, Lexus developed a battery cell air cooling system, which is safer and lighter than water-cooled system. With cooled air cal calculating inside the battery pack, stable battery output can be attained even at the high speed and during repeated rapid charging. Working hand-in-hand -hand with the cabin air conditioning, the system enhances the car's performance battery life and charging performance. Reliability was also to the fore in the development of the battery heating system. Heating elements under each battery module minimize the impact of cold weather on the driving range, ensuring full power is available from the start. Nissan is also committed to its uh, air-managed system. Despite evidence that liquid-cooled batteries are better able to maintain their energy capacity, Nissan uses a passive system, which Lexus's approach is active, essentially extending the cabin AC, uh, AC and heating system to the battery pack. Nissan last year claimed that the Leafs pack will last 22 years, an estimated 10 to 12 years longer than the average life of the car. Nissan reached its conclusions based on data from the 400,000 Nissan Leafs it has sold in Europe since 2011. However, a 2019 study of 6,300 electric vehicles by Geotab, a fleet management company, revealed that the air-cooled 2015 leaf degraded at a rate of 4.2% compared to a 2015 Tesla Model 3S's 2.3 rate. Geotop concluded that liquid cooled thermal management provides better protection against degradation. Electric vehicle battery warranties also stipulate the level of degradation that can happen before it will be replaced. The Lexus UX300e capacity needs to drop below 70%. That would leave 38 kilowatt hours of capacity enough for about 130 miles of range if its efficiency uh, delivers 3.5 miles kilowatt hour. The Nissan Leaf guarantees roughly 66% capacity over 100,000 um, 100, miles at 96 months. The fine print of the 2020 Nissan Leaf's battery warranty reads, quote, The lithium-ion battery is also warranted against capacity loss below nine segments as shown on the vehicle's battery capacity level gauge. This suggests a similar level of degradation as what Lexus offers in its warranty. The electric UX has a range rating of 400 kilometers, 248 miles, on the NEDC cycle. The charging capacity is 6.6 .6 kilowatt for an AC with a 50 kilowatt capacity for a DC quick charger. The Lexus UX 300e electric vehicle sells for the equivalent of about $54,000 in China. In Europe, the price is expected to start at about $45,000. The all-electric Lexus will be introduced in Japan 
in 2021. I was looking at some places online and I see Electric has an interesting take on this. The state of the art for battery management is liquid cooling. It's intriguing that Nissan holds firm to its air-cooled system and now Lexus joins Nissan with this approach. To tell the truth, uh, at torquenews.com I have provided a story in the past where I talked about Nissan's air-cooled battery versus liquid-cooled battery and um, there was some advantage of air-cooled battery. Liquid-cooled batteries are uh, have generally better advantages, but Nissan also had a reasoning. Maybe one of these days I will make a special video talking about those, because for example, uh, Chevy Bolt is also using a liquid-cooled battery, and uh, and that gives the Bolt a little bit more advantage. But again, Nissan, I remember, had a good reason, and I'm going to find that out and report it here. So while promising 1 million kilometers is impressive that would require driving an average of 62,000 miles a year to reach that level before hitting the 10-year limit. Another factor is that the 50 kilowatt rating for DC charging for the Lexus. If Toyota and Lexus plan to offer faster rates, liquid cooling will become more important to manage the temperature. Quick charging for the 2020 Leaf goes up to 100 kilowatt hours. Nonetheless, Lexus explicitly says that air cooling is sufficient for quote unquote repeated rapid charging. Maybe air cooling uh, technologies have improved. Who knows, huh? Maybe they have improved, and that's why Nissan is holding firm to air cooled batteries, and uh, Lexus is also uh, stating the same saying repeated rapid charging uh, is uh, air cooling is sufficient for repeated rapid charging the 1 million kilometer kilometer promise will probably not affect many drivers because like i said you have to drive 62000 uh, miles a year to reach that level before hitting the 10-year limit. But nonetheless, air cooling reveals the tentative approach taken by Lexus Toyota for its first electric vehicles. I was actually pleasantly surprised when I saw this press release, when I saw this news, because, you know, until now, Toyota has not made a single electric car. And now making a Lexus electric and selling them in China for about 50 plus thousand, dollars $50, is a welcome news. And I knew, and I have reported at Torque News YouTube channel that um, Toyota had actually made uh, several small electric vehicle for the upcoming and now I guess postponed or cancelled um, uh, um, Japan's Olympic um, Tokyo Olympic Games and uh, there were like three or four different vehicles for different types of mobility uh, in the Olympic Village. One was for the police, one was for the people, one was for visitors, one was for the sportsmen and uh, and but now we know that those are cancelled because, um, uh, because uh, we don't know if those cars are cancelled but we know that uh, Olympic Games in Tokyo are at least for the time being postponed and but it's really welcome news to see that uh, Lexus Toyota is starting probably with Lexus is making its first uh, um, electric vehicle and um, this is really welcome news and uh, maybe Toyota is already um, thinking about electric vehicle future and uh, Lexus UX 300e is a welcome news. Several months ago, I contacted Toyota asking if they had any news about their future uh, electric cars, if there is any any new research or anything like that. The only thing I got from Toyota is that uh, I received a letter from Toyota pointing me to a one of their um, uh, research papers, which was a long one-page document, basically. I, I think it was one page. I don't remember. I don't want to be wrong. But it was, a, I got a, a reference to that page, which Toyota uh, created about one year ago. And it was talking about Toyota's electric vehicle future. 
and uh, and the Toyota letter from the Toyota press team said that they don't have anything new to add to that for the time being. But I don't know. Maybe um, maybe they are working on it right now, uh, especially when Tesla is coming out with Cybertruck Model Y, and the stories are being built around Tesla, and the public is leaning toward Tesla direction. Maybe the Toyota and Lexus and even Nissan more because we haven't heard any big news from Nissan Leaf recently, uh, should think about this. Well, as we see, Volkswagen is doing uh, a good job with electrifying its fleet. And just the one hour ago, I reported an interesting story of Škoda uh, from Volkswagen Group uh, releasing uh, Škoda Enyaq, which is crossover, which will have the specs of Tesla Model Y and will be 40% less expensive when it comes to price than Tesla Model Y. Well, friends, let me know what you think about these things. Let's continue the discussion in the comments below. Do you think, uh, what are your expectations from Lexus's first electric vehicle? And in the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Please join our community if you are here for the first time and like this video to show your appreciation. Let's continue the discussions below. And if you would like to support our channel, I would really appreciate buying an animated applause once a month by maybe by clicking on the applaud button which is next to the like button if you are watching this video on a desktop help us please to keep the independence of our youtube channel as you see we have been bringing several tesla and electric stock car stories daily on this channel we would really appreciate your support have a wonderful day god bless you everyone see you soon and stay safe